may be contrary to our initial instinct, the more happy we are to have something, all the more reason to offer and share some of it with somebody else. When you get to enjoy a meal of your victory, do you share your meal and success with others? Welcome to Wild Impact, and it is time to awaken your wild side by becoming masters of teamwork, specifically regarding sharing. And in this episode, we'll be taking a close look at a pack of African wild dogs, also known as painted wolves or spotted wolves, who got separated during a hunt. Some members had a successful hunt, other members did not, and what they did to take care of each other to see what we can learn and gather from their failures and success and struggles so that we can experience more success in our own day-to-day -day lives. And as with all the content here at Wild Impact, we use nature, the animal kingdom, as our guide and as our reference to provide you with the tips, tools, and strategies to help you better navigate your day-to-day -day life in a more effective, fulfilling, and successful way. So, diving into it here, we see perhaps the most successful hunters in the world, the African wild dog. There are a few main reasons why they are extraordinarily successful, one being their organized teamwork, as well as their relentless endurance, both of which I'll cover in more detail in another episode. But the other reason, which is the main focus of this episode, is their desire to share their success with each other which ultimately is their desire to take care of one another. Here we see the pack of dogs hunting an impala, and during the hunt, the pack gets separated, as some of the members start chasing different targets, which typically is a big no-no. But after a long chase, and out of sheer desperation, the impala jumps into the water to escape the dogs. Impalas can barely swim, and the dogs know this, so they just sit around waiting for it because it's just a matter of time before it has to return. But while they're sitting there waiting for it, they hear other members of their dog pack calling out to them, letting them know that they've just made a kill and that they're being invited to join them. So the separated members follow their calls until they're all rejoined and they begin sharing and enjoying the meal together as a pack, as a family. Now, are the dogs doing this just to be nice or because it's the right thing to do? Maybe that's part of it, but it's more likely because each member of the pack deeply depends on and needs each other in order to survive. So it's in their best interest to take care of each other. And in taking care of each other, we are taking care of ourselves. And in taking care of ourselves, we are taking better care of each other, right? So we know this to be true. These dogs are always hunting prey that is much bigger than them and faster than them. So they not only need a lot of members in their pack, but they also need to make sure that everyone is well-fed, healthy, and happy in order for all of them to stand a chance at being successful. And keeping in mind, it's inevitable that each member of the pack will at some point get injured and get old and will be unable to hunt and feed for themselves. Therefore, having to rely on their pack members to care for them in their time of need. All the more reason to be cooperative and generous. Imagine this, the pack members who did make a kill and did get something to eat easily could have gotten together with the separated pack members later on and said, oh, you guys didn't get anything to eat? Yeah, we didn't either, right, Frankie? Right? We didn't eat anything either, right? Right? Instead, they said, hey guys, we got something to eat, let's go, over here, we got something. We all know the smallest of gestures can go a very long way. Has someone ever done something for you or given you something, which on the surface may not have seemed like a big deal, but Maybe in that moment it meant the world to you, or maybe you just simply appreciated it. I think we've all been blessed with moments like this and with people who have made such generous offerings to us. So how frequently or infrequently do we share our food and the spoils of our success with our pack members? Perhaps contrary to initial instinct, the happier we are to have something, all the more reason to offer and to share it with a loved one. You have your favorite food? Share it. You have some good news? Share that. You have a new and exciting idea? Share it. Your joy, your happiness? Share it. Share it. You come across some unexpected money or stuff? Offer or donate it to someone in need. No one likes a hoarder, so share it with a loved one. Just like these wild dogs, call your loved ones. Say, hey guys, I just ordered a pizza. Come on over. Let's eat. Or, hey, I just got my tax returns back. Hey man, I bought you that book that you had mentioned last week. You know, these may not be the best examples, but I think you get the point. It can be anything. And I know that you also love seeing your loved ones happy and uplifted. So let's contribute to their success. 
There's no need to measure the amount of the offering. Sharing is sharing, and sharing is caring. And sharing is ensuring survival, survival of the pack and survival of you. After all, it's one and the same. When you bleed, we all bleed. When you feed, we all feed, but only if we share. Is this video resonating with you? Tap the like button below if there's value here for you. And share this video with that one person, that one pack member of your wild dog family. That person who's always looking out for you and is always willing and wanting to share their success with you. And we'd love to hear from you about how you uniquely share your success and spoils with people. Comment below and let us know. Follow and subscribe to the channel with notifications so that you can get episodes like this, as well as other content that I'll be posting throughout the week so that you can get your daily dose of nature and inspiration. Till next time, stay wild.